गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास लेट एस कंटिन्यू विद द टेक्स्ट ऑफ द स्टोरी यस्टरडे वी हैड कम टू द पॉइंट वेयर एक्चुअली वी वेर डिस्कसिंग द प्लॉट द मेजर पार्ट ऑफ द प्लॉट इज द राइजिंग एक्शन सो वी आर इन द राइजिंग एक्शन ओनली आई रीड देन ट्रेवर आवर अराइव्ड uh yesterday we were uh, at the point where hui irskain gives uh, the only coin the sovereign the gold coin in his pocket to uh, the beggarly model that uh, was sitting in front of uh, his painter friend uh, and he gives this coin to the man out of uh, his uh, sense of pity and sympathy towards the poor man like the beggar now let us see what happens then uh, trevor arrived because we know that uh, trevor uh, had gone outside the room to see the frame maker now he comes back then trevor arrived and he took his leave blushing a little at what he had done blushing feeling awkward so he is embarrassed uh, at what he had done that is his little act of giving one sovereign coin to the person makes him awkward he spent and he goes away from the painter studio he spent the day with laura then he goes to his girlfriend laura got a charming scolding for his extravagance and laura scolds him now this scolding is described as charming because everything related to the beloved uh, is lovely for the lover so though she is angry uh, scolding means to get angry with somebody and to uh, to express that anger that is scolding so laura is angry because of his extravagance extravagance to spend more money when you have less money and had to walk home and after uh, his meeting with his girlfriend he walks home now the writer tells us that he had to walk home means he had to walk on his feet to home because he cannot afford the cab since he had given the only gold coin in his pocket to the beggarly man at the studio of his friend that night now we have come to the end of the first day of action in our story because the time mentioned here is night night of the same day okay that night he strolled strolling means walking in a comfortable leisurely way so that night uh, hui goes to uh, a place of uh, say enjoyment uh, where the friends meet that is pallet club so this is another setting for a small part of the story so in the morning we had the setting of the painter studio where the initial action takes place that is uh, who he goes there and he meets the beggarly man he gives the gold coin etc etc now the place changes now the setting changes and the time uh, also changes the time is night now and the place is pallet club about 11 o'clock so 11 o'clock of the night and found trevor sitting by himself in the smoking room drinking hock and seltzer uh hock is uh, meat it's a dish of pork or ham and seltzer is soda water so there um he joins his friend alan trevor uh, the friend who is sitting there in the smoking room now in you might be thinking what is this smoking room 
in uh, most of the western countries people do not smoke anywhere mm, just like in india they have some smoking zones and you have to go there if you are a smoker if you have to smoke you should go because they are very disciplined people so they have reserved some places for smoking so he is in the smoking room drinking um, hock and sells uh hui is is kind goes there and they have a chat hui asks him well alan did you get the picture finished all right so he is asking uh, his friend alan penter about the morning um, picture as he lit his cigarette so hui is kind is also smoking the cigarette finished and framed my boy answer trevor and trevor says finished i had finished that portrait and even framed also and put it into a frame also and by the by you have made a conquest and then he says by the way you are a victorious man who is telling whom alan trevor is say, is saying to who is kind that you have made a conquest now what is this conquest will uh, come to know later he says that old model you saw is quite devoted to you devoted means very loving or loyal or very fond of somebody so he says that old man uh, that old model who was sitting in front of me he was very much devoted to you he was attracted towards you i had to tell him all about you and he says he asked me so many things about you the old man had asked um, so many things about who is kind after he had gone away from the studio and he says i had to tell him about you who you are where you live what your income is what prospects you have what chances you have in future etc etc so this conversation increases our uh, sense of curiosity and even hui is kind's curiosity also as to why this old man uh, was interested in the protagonist my dear alan cried hui i shall probably find him waiting for me when i go home but of course you are only joking and he he does not take that seriously and he says maybe that man is waiting for me at my doorstep when i go home this night and he says you must be joking so he can't believe that somebody is interested in his life poor old wretch a poor man miserable man wretch means w r e t c h i wish i could do something for him so he is in the same mood of sympathy pity towards the old man who he is kind and he says i wish now this again uh, indicates his kind hearted uh, constitution his generous nature he says i wish that i i could do something for him i think it is dreadful it is horrible that anyone should be so miserable so he says i can't im- imagine any person in in such a miserable condition like that man like that beggar i have got heaps of old clothes at home and he even says heaps of mounds of so many okay heap means pile a stock dig so he says i have so many old clothes at my home do you think he could care for any of them so he again asks his painter friend he says do you think that old man will accept some clothes from me so now he wants to after giving him a coin in the morning now he is thinking about giving his old clothes to that beggarly man out of sympathy for him why his rags were falling to bits 
his rags means his clothes uh torn clothes old clothes that were falling to bits falling to bits means they were torn they were um, in a very poor condition in pieces torn into pieces but he looks splendid in them splendid glorious great but the painter says but he looks glorious superb in in those clothes i wouldn't paint him a frock coat for anything and he says you cannot uh, paint a beggarly man in a frock coat now this uh, frock coat means uh, it is nothing to do with frocks okay uh, it is a man's long uh, skirted formal kind of coat long coat that is frock coat nothing to do with girls frocks okay so he says i would and he says a beggar should look like a beggar and wear torn clothes i cannot paint uh, a beggar in a coat like uh, the formal dress what you call rags i call romance and he says whatever you are calling as rags for me they were just attractive romance it is romance exotic something very attractive is romance here what seems poverty to you is picturesqueness to me and he says what you think poverty uh, you are a common man who is kind and i am an artist and for me it 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 was just picturesqueness picturesqueness means something suitable um to be very attractive okay to me however i will tell you tell him of your offer but he says anyways i i will tell him that you are ready to give him some old clothes alan said who seriously you painters are a heartless lot heartless lot here lot means people he says you are heartless you are just uh, brutal cruel people an artist's heart is his head replied trevor and besides our business is to realize the world as we see it not to reform it as we know it and then he says now this dialogue is important between uh the protagonist uh, whose approach is realistic and uh, the painter friend alan trevor whose approach is artistic and these arts uh, artists they believe now there was in the 1890s uh, by the end of the 19th century the last 10 years of the 19th century there was a um, there was a movement in literature particularly in england and it was known as the आर्ट फॉर आर्ट सेक आर्ट फॉर आर्ट सेक मीन्स कला ही फक्त कलेसाठीच असते देर इज नो सेन्स ऑफ रिफर्मेशन और करेक्शन और मॉरल लेसन इट 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 इज नॉट जस्ट द जॉब ऑफ एन आर्टिस्ट एन आर्टिस्ट पेंट्स और आर्टिस्ट सिंग्स और एन आर्टिस्ट राइट्स अ पोएम ओनली फॉर द सेक ऑफ आर्ट एंड नथिंग टू डू विथ पॉवर्टी एंड रियालिटीज ऑफ लाईफ द हार्श रियालिटीज ऑफ लाईफ so he says our business means our job the artist job is to realize the world as we see it so he says whatever we see it our perspective from our point of view we express the world the world not to reform it sudharna karne not to improve that now in front of you there is a uh, proverb in french language chacun son metier so that means what is bad for some people brings happiness to others so is it that may be bad for um, you but it is uh, it is the picturesqueness it is beautiful for us the poverty of the beggarly man they are both of them they are talking about the beggar for who is kind the beggar beggar's condition was miserable pitiful he wants to help him and for the painter he was splendid glorious as a beggar as a model for his painting and now tell me how laura is the old model was quite interested in her 
and then he asks a shocking uh, question to who is kind and he says how is lara because the old model that old beggarly man was very much interested in uh, her also now this is a shock to hui and he says you don't mean to say you talk to him about her so he says are you saying that you told him about my beloved also and alan says certainly i did he know he knows all about the relentless colonel relentless never ending unceasingly intense never stopping okay and he says even i told him about her father the lovely laura and the 10000 pound and his condition of having that much of amount in your in your bank account in case you have to marry his daughter the colonel's daughter now this is again shocking for hui is kind and he says he is angry now he is getting irritated he says you told that old beggar all my private affairs cried hui looking very red and angry now he is red he is turning red with anger he is boiling uh, with anger and he asks he cries he shouts at his friend and he says do you want to say that you told everything about my private affairs to that old beggarly man in your studio alan says my dear boy and he is smiling he says no this is this is the climax okay this is the climax of the story and he says he says the that old beggar as you call him is one of the richest men in europe he could buy all london tomorrow without overdrawing his account he says he is one of the richest men in europe he is so rich that he can buy all of london and he has house in every capital in every uh, capital city mm. here capital is capital city rajdhani is a shahar dines of gold plate and he dines from gold plates and can prevent russia going to war when he chooses and he even can stop russia from going to war with uh, say england or america so he is such a powerful and rich man now this is shocking this is uh, the writer is taking us towards the climax what on earth do you mean exclaimed hui exclaim means he is he is shocked and that is the expression of shock what on earth do you mean what i say say trevor the old man you saw again uh, the painter repeats he says i mean to say the old man you saw today in the studio was baron hosberg actually that beggarly man is not a beggar but he is a baron baron is a member of aristocracy a noble man very very rich man and his his name is hosberg he is a great friend of mine buys all my pictures and that sort of thing and he says he is a lover of art and he buys all my paintings and gave me a commission a month ago to paint him as a beggar so he was posing me posing for me as a model only he is not a beggar in reality but he is one of the richest men in europe and actually he had given me the job of painting him in the beggar's clothes quick wallace was what do you want so it is from french in english it means quick wallace was means what do you want um la fantasy the millionaire so he says that man was actually a millionaire and i must say he made a magnificent figure in his rags magnificent great attractive splendid glorious so he says he was looking majestic magnificent very beautiful in in the beggar's clothes or perhaps i should say in my rags and he says actually i must say in my rags rags means the torn old clothes of the beggar and he says actually they were my uh, clothes they are an old suit i got in spain 
and this is i got uh, an old suit in uh, uh, spain and now i had given that suit to uh, baron hosberg for wearing while modeling for me as a beggar now this is the great shock for uh, the protagonist and he says baron hosberg cried he good heavens he says oh my god i gave him a sovereign and he says how foolish i was because i gave him a gold coin and i considered him as a beggar and he sank into an armchair the picture of dismay and he was shocked and he was disappointed and he was cursing himself for his foolishness and he just sinks into falls into the chair because he had proved himself to be a fool and now he is afraid that he might he this act of foolishness might have angered the the rich man the great man baron hosberg give him a sovereign now now this, this is trevor's turn to get shocked because up to this time his painter friend did not know that we erskine had given a coin to baron his richest friend gave him a sovereign shouted trevor and he burst into a roar of laughter my dear boy roar of laughter he was laughing loudly he could not control his laughter because of the foolishness of his uh, friend who is kind and he says my dear boy you will never see it again so he says you know you are gone he you have done a foolish thing we will stop here and continue uh, before before i stop um Yes, uh, this is uh, at the end of the page. You can see a French expression: "Son affaire c'est l'argent des autres." That means his case is the money of others. In English, so uh, here uh, we 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 stop and let us continue tomorrow. So in today's uh, in today's class what we have seen is we have from the rising action we have gone to the climax of the story now the the protagonist has uh, become aware of his foolishness and he and a suspense is created and he he doesn't know what is going to happen to him next because and he is now afraid maybe he is afraid very anxious very worried regarding the a uh, reaction of the rich man because he had thought that rich man to be a beggar and he had given him a gold coin thank you